and it's hot. We just made it through customs and immigration. We successfully got our drone into the first country, so that's going Woo! well so far. And then we booked this bus shuttle combination thing, and they say it's going to take us directly to our Airbnb. We'll see. It's like $15 a person. The taxis were super expensive, and I don't want to take all of our new camera gear on the local bus. Also, our new camera setup is a lot more intrusive with the big fuzzy mic on top and the gimbal thing. And for safety reasons, we've taken the microphone off so if we sound bad that's why and if it's shakier we take it off again but we're trying to be a little discreet as we kind of get a feel for the city. Thank you. Hello. Um, is this uh, the Airbnb for Kara? Yeah, I'll be right out. All right, fantastic. Thank you. To catch our flight yesterday, we had to get up at like 3 in the morning, which means that we slept like 3 hours the night before last. Then last night, we attempted to sleep on the plane. I don't know about you, I'd say I got like three-ish hours of sleep. We're pretty much feeling like zombies right now, so before we go out, it's time for a nap. Okay. We're stuck in our apartment. Yay! You know when you take a nap and it makes you more tired than you were before? We basically just napped double the amount of time we were planning on napping and most of the day is gone but we're up we recovered it's about 5 p.m the plan is to find an atm go to a coffee shop eat some dinner and then go see this big cemetery that's supposed to be like one of the biggest tourist attractions here in buenos aires it feels amazing Now it's time to find some coffee. We stopped in the first cafe that we passed. We tried to order two black coffees. Our Spanish is a little rusty, so we'll see what we get. She seemed very confused, as were we. Quite a spread for ordering two coffees. Oh, it's super hot. Looks like she understood us after all. Looks like black coffee. Wow. It tastes like black coffee. And these super adorable little croissants. Our Airbnb host told us about an empanadas place because that's what you're supposed to eat in Argentina. We looked everywhere for it. We can't find it. We're running out of daylight. So we're going to go ahead and walk to the cemetery. About a 20 minute walk and hope that we pass another restaurant with empanadas. For being one of the top 20 largest cities in the world, I am really impressed with how green it is. I didn't know it was one of the top 20 cities. There seems to be parks everywhere. I don't know if it's just a part of town that we're in. Everybody's out and sitting in the grass and running. It's beautiful. It really is. Scrum 
1992. It was declared a national monument in 1930. I don't think the cemetery is here though. It's okay, this way. So much for getting to the cemetery at Golden Hour. It's closed. So I guess we'll try again tomorrow. And now you get your empanadas. Let's go eat! That's definitely not the right way. Let's head back towards our place. <laughs> We're gonna go in this pretty church we found. to the working out part. Everyone is working out. We are still on the hunt for empanadas. We just stopped and tried to ask this security officer lady. She was very nice, but she spoke very quickly. We got like three people involved. Everybody was pointing in different directions, speaking in Spanish very quickly. We're still no closer to finding empanadas. We found them. He says they're good. Gracias. Uno, jamón y mozzarella. Dale. Algo más? Sí. Ahí? Gracias. How many minutes did she say? She was very nice. We tried to ask her what like everything on the menu was. She ended up like holding up an onion and the different things that it was. I think I got a beef empanada and a chicken empanada. Picante and suave, whatever that means. Yeah. So Kara has never been to South America before. I've been for two weeks to Chile and all I remember is the empanadas being amazing. So I have really high hopes for these. Me too. I am so hungry. We should have gotten more. Should I just bite into one and hope it's mine? Go for it. <gasps> this one says PS, PP, CP, and JQ. Are those the, like? Yeah, probably. Pollo Suave. Pollo Suave, Pollo, what was the other one? Picante. Oh my gosh. It's so good. It's so good, I could just cry. I needed this. You did need it. You're I don't know why angry. we didn't eat today. We didn't eat today. I had yogurt on the plane at 7 a.m. I think we need to go back here every single day and try all the empanadas. Today was our first like tourist day back at vlogging and it feels really good to be back after our big break over Christmas break. It does, but we're using like a completely different setup. We have a stabilizer, a new camera, and it's all gonna take a little bit of time to get used to, so bear with us if it's not perfect. Let us know what you think about the new setup, but not if you're gonna be mean, then don't say <laughs> anything, because it's kinda too late to change anything at this point. I'm good with like constructive <laughs> criticism though, because I definitely wanna get better. We got the new stabilizer so we could shoot steadier shots. And my thinking was that if we could shoot a steadier shot, we could use longer versions of clips and you guys would feel more like you were actually there as opposed to like cutting really quickly to like try to cover up some of the shake of yeah. walking with the camera. So thank you everyone for being patient with us, especially when we took a few weeks off while we were home, but we're really excited to explore the rest of Argentina. I think it's gonna be great. Today Hope you enjoyed awesome. day one. I wonder if they can tell my arm's shaking because this thing's so heavy. You're definitely going to get stronger. Ah. You got some little hairs falling out of your bun back here. A little rat tail. <laughs> Good night. Oh. That's got to be some kind of record. <laughs>